Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rukakwadash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Shalom. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Doing the walk in the vine, which is the earth in his last days, making sure these truths can get to the four corners of the earth, preparing the way for the return of our Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. It's the brother Yaraya Yasharala from the GMS Italia camp. And you know, I feel the spirit is actually on me today to do the lesson in English. So, you know, I just came across some information about, you know, the 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 Grammys award that just took place I think a couple of days ago if not yesterday I'm not really sure when it took place you know I just saw some information and me actually being from um you know Nigeria um my origin actually is going to be from Nigeria my parents actually come from Nigeria my mom and my dad are from Nigeria from the tribe of Yoruba and you know by the spirit we know this tribe and these people are actually um the so-called israelites you know so anyway um actually was watching you know the i saw actually um an artist from nigeria two artists in reality who were nominated for the grammy award and actually won the grammy award you know which is the first time a Nigerian is going to win um, the Grammy Award, okay? So anyway, before I start, I just want to, you know, share a little history about Nigeria. Um, Nigeria is, a, you know, they actually got independence from the British in 1960, you know, and when, it's, when, it talks, when it speaks about independence, you know, it means that they're actually a property of the British, even till date, Nigeria is a property of the of the British colony. So, you know, I watched a lesson by the Apostle Taha, I think some three or four days ago, if I'm not mistaken, or last week, you know, he did a lesson. Actually, there was a debate um, between a Nigerian and, you know, other African nations, you know, and you can see by the spirit that these other nations were actually Hamites and they, they had a sort of hatred towards this Nigerian and the spirit could really tell that this this dude actually was a Nigerian, you know. So well I just actually got, you know, the inspiration to do a lesson on this. So just a short history, you know, this well, Nigeria is actually divided into three major tribes. You know, you have the Fulani, which is the Hausa. Then you have the Yoruba and you have the Igbos. So the Yoruba and the Igbos, you know, history tells us that they actually come from the same roots. So you can also check out, you know, certain words from the Igbo language. You can see that they're actually the same as the Yoruba language, you know. So... From these two tribes, you have different other tribes, little tribes like you have the Benin, you know. So they actually used to teach us the story, you know, back then when I was a little boy, um, about you know the the founder actually of this um of these two tribes, the Yoruba and the Benin, you know. They said his name is Odudua, and they always claim that it came from the sky. There is also a city in um. In Nigeria called Ileife and in this city they they claim to have the position where this so-called Odua actually came from the sky you know and the thing there is you know <laughs> all my life <laughs> since we've been living we haven't we haven't seen anyone come from the sky you know except from the angels and certain things we've actually seen people come from the sky that's in the past you know so if they are not angels or the chariots of the Most High, then we actually saw Yahweh Shai also ascending into the sky, you know, then nothing else. So you can easily tell that these people actually, act, they, they forgot the origin of this man, the, the so-called Odudua. So they don't remember where he came from, but 
what that information is trying to explain is that land actually is not his land it came from somewhere you know so odudua as they say had seven seven sons in which you know the seven sons you know they separated and became different tribes of nigeria like you have the benin you have the ishekiri the Igbo, and all different tribes you know so well if you can see right here on the screen i have you know you can just write in ancient map of africa as I, like most of us don't know africa itself is named after an italian man called um leo scipione africanus okay this is an italian general and africa is named after him the name africa used to have before was ethiopia the entire land of africa used to be known as ethiopia and as you can see over here this is an ancient map and you can see right there ethiopian ocean so it used to be divided in two if i'm not mistaken it used to be africa um, ethiopia interior and ethiopia inferior so you have most of lots of these maps you know in which you know i one day actually came across you know this information about you know old maps on amazon and if you if you are to purchase one of these ancient maps they really cost a lot of money i mean it costs so much that's because you know the sons of the of the wicked they're actually trying to hide some information from you when they do such things so well this is just the proof to let you know that the land of africa itself used to be known as the land of ethiopia you know there are so many you know pictures of ancient maps you know dating from the 1700s even the 1600s that are telling you that the land of africa used to be known as you know ethiopia so now we are going to we're going to get the book of amos chapter 9 verse 7 Amos 9 7 which says are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me O children of Israel said the Lord Yahweh have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Kaftor and Syrians from Ki but you see the point right here is are ye not as the children of the ethiopians unto me you know this this verse is a is a is a big clue to let you know that we've been classified just like the so-called ethiopians you know the actual ethiopians which are the africans you know but then you need to understand the story of what happened in 1780 uh, 70 you know 70 years after the death of Yahweh Shai, you know, just let me just put 70 AD, in which the book of um the book of Matthew is it 24, you know, speaks about you know the siege, the siege of Jerusalem. So what happened in 70 AD, you know? So our readers in Italy, please don't scroll past this. This Tuesday for the first time recently, we humbly ask you to defend. I get out of here I don't care anyway the siege of Jerusalem this is um this is a, a real history of what happened but they wouldn't teach them in school you know as you know the schooling system is you know governed by the sons of the wicked which are the Edomites the ruling class those who are ruling this current kingdom that we are in you know so you can see I'm just I'm not going to read too long but as you can see over here it actually speaks about the the siege of Jerusalem so what happened was the Romans who were actually you know the seeds of the wicked they came into Jerusalem at that time they had the Emperor Titus and you know he had um he had an army which was led by Tiberius Julius Alexander and if you look at this Tiberius Julius Alexander you find out that he was a Hebrew Israelite you know but he was born and brought up in Rome. And, you know, this is just one of those kind of Israelites that, you know, they're so into, they're so into the traditions and, um, 
of the wicked you know they just abandon their roots and they want to satisfy you know the the wicked who has put them in power or so so it was by his help that he led this um this troop and they took over jerusalem so what happened was the real israelites who are the, the so-called negroes the native americans and the latinos they spread into different parts of europe many of them ran into europe but most of them, what happened is they ran down into Africa, okay, the so-called Africa in which it used to be known as Ethiopia, you know. So, you know, we are actually classified just like the Africans. But then if you look at Nigeria, you know, there is, um, there's always been um, this kind of um, problem between the Nigerians. And the problem always comes from a certain tribe, which is known as the Fulani, you know. Those are the so-called people that you always hear on the news that they cut, they, 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 um, they, what's the word? They kidnap people and, you know, they kidnap a whole entire village. They kidnap a school and stuff like that. These are the so-called Fulanese, you know, and this, let me just put in Fulani. Let me see what, let me see what it would give me. Okay, as you can see, these are the so-called Fulanese. This is a typical kind of Fulani face. You know, they might look like us, but these people are Fulanese. So these people are actually mixed up with Nigerians. Even our president, our present, the present president of Nigeria right now, I believe he is of the origin of the Fulanese, as you can see. Origin of Fulani right here. And what these people actually do is, you know, they create a lot of hell. And they make sure, you know, the Jakes, the so-called Jakes who are of the tribe of Yoruba and Hebo, they make sure they give them hard time and they don't develop themselves, you know. So anyway, if you look at Nigeria, those who are actually bringing, you know, most of the development into Nigeria, those who are innovative, those who are really creative are the so-called Yorubas and Igbos, you know. These are the so-called lost tribes of Israel. And the, the very interesting thing is, if you look at the history of the Ghanaians, the history of Togo, Benin, you would see that there are lots of Yorubas, people from the tribe of Yorubas, you know, consisting of those lands. And they know and they give credit of being, you know, being from the origin of being Yoruba, you know. So the Igbos are also very, very unique people, you know. They, they are very, very creative, as you know. They, they are so, you know, they, the Most High has blessed them with so much ideas, you know. They create business, they are always wealthy and stuff like that, you know. You can easily see that these are Israelites, just like the book of, um, the book of Matthew, chapter 5. Let's get it right quickly. Matthew 5. 13. So as you can see, the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savoir, wherewith shall it be salted? Okay, well, the point right here is, ye are the salt of the earth. And well, if you have, if you're preparing a food, just like the apostles always, the apostles of Great Millstone GMS, starting from the apostle Taha, just like they always teach, if you're preparing a food and you don't have salt in it, you know, the food doesn't have any taste, you know, you're just eating, it's just like you're just eating something like that without taste, you know, that's the same thing as, you know, the race of humans, you know, all other nations are nothing, you know, without the sons of, um, the sons of Israel, you know, we are actually salt, we have a kind of vibe that comes with our spirits, we are different people, we are peculiar people, you know, just like the book of Peter. Let me get, let me get it re real quick. Just like the book of Peter, chapter 2. Peter 2, 9. Ah, sorry, first Peter. 2, 9. Just like the book of 1 Peter 2.9 says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, 
and holy nation a peculiar people now let's check out what's the meaning of peculiar peculiar you know it comes from from it comes from the you know the greek word ice ice you know okay let's see a preposition governing an accusative and denoting entrance into a leading carrying throwing sending entrance a hollow thing you, as you can see the word hollow actually means holy you know set apart you know well blue letter doesn't give us so much information here but we can go on as you can see anyway the point is made you know we are a peculiar people we are set aside people we're different people we got a different vibe that comes with our spirit you know wherever we go whatever we do we have a different kind of style where the people just you know just see you and you know they they they, they feel that vibe that you're different you know so anyway to keep going well as i was saying so nigeria is actually divided into these three different tribes and the odd tribe between them is the fulani which these fulanis are actually from the lineage of the sons of ham the sons of ham okay and ham is let's say is the is the father of the the whole africans the land of ethiopia and what those people actually do in Nigeria is, you know, there is this war going on in which these people, they just go into different villages with their, they are actually more of, you know, they practice these herdsmen or stuff like that, you know. They just go into your village with their cattle and their cows and stuff and they walk into your farm and eat up everything, you know. So they're actually trying to show you that, you know, they claim the ownership of the land, you know. So... And you see this tribe actually you can find them all around all countries of the so-called land of Africa. They are in Ghana, they are in Burkina Faso, they are every damn place because actually truly the land belongs to them, you know. So we the Nigerians that are from the tribe of the Yorubas, Igbos and stuff like that, you know, and the other fractions of other you know ethnic groups that comes from these two uh, major ethnic groups like the benin the ishakiri the um all the rest of them you know they are actually from the land of israel and this is what happened they were chased from their own land in 70 a.d by the roman emperor you know so they ran down into africa as a matter of fact if you now look at the west africa West Africa. Um, so I'm just trying to see if I can find it, but I have so much maps on my on my phone. Which so if you look before West Africa used to used to be known as Negro Land, okay, and apart from that, it used to be known as Wida. Let's see. You see, right here you have this map. It tells you Kingdom of Judah. You see, and this Judah used to be Wida. That's O U I D A. You know, that I think is it the French or Portuguese um, spelling. But Judah, they knew that you know mostly the tribe of Judah. Because the tribe of Judah actually were those, you have three tribes, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, you know, they were actually those in the land of Jerusalem. Because, you know, Israel was divided into two, according to the book of um, Second Kings, if I'm not mistaken. And you also have it in the book of Second Chronicles, if I'm not mistaken. 
you know they were separated into two then you have the northern and the southern kingdom southern kingdom consisted of judah benjamin and levi you know and the, the, the um the siege as you can see was actually in jerusalem so you see most a huge number of those people fled into west africa so it was known as the land of judah you know they, they actually called it the slave coast kingdom of judah so the same sons of esau the same wicked people the seed of the wicked you know they came all the way down to make sure they finished the job sending most of our brothers major part of them into the land of america you know to to build up america you know the land america as you can see everyone wants to go to america and stuff like that you know it was built by your fathers man it was built by the israelites you know there are lots of you know history talking about many of these things and which you had um the northern tribe tribe the northern the northern tribe which consists of the tribe of God, you know, Reuben, um, and all the rest of them, you know, they were actually, they actually went into the land of um, the Americas before, before the Europeans actually got there. And, you know, that's, that's, you can find an account of that in the book of Second Esdras. But I'm not going to go there, not to, you know, shift from the, from the topic of what I want to teach, you know. So anyway, I'm just saying all this to let you know that, you know, in Nigeria, you have, you know, this. And the problem is, you know, this so-called, you know, Fulanese who are actually, you know, of the tribe. These are the sons of Ham. You know, they are actually the major owners of the land, you know. So these people, you know, they bring all hell down to these jakes, you know, and make sure these jakes, they don't progress and stuff. Well, when you talk of Nigeria, you know, the most innovative people are actually the Jakes right there. These people, they haven't done any damn thing, you know. They're just still way behind, you know. So you can see, you can see that, you know. So, well, let me just quickly get the book of, um, well, before that, I want to show you. So, as you can see, there is something about the music industry of um, Africa, Nigeria actually rules is the leading country in Africa right now. Um, you know, that's because you know Jake is the salt of the earth, you know. So you have a huge concentration of Jake in Nigeria, West Africa, which you know these dudes, you know, they just do music, they are highly they're highly, you know, how should I put they're highly gifted about the stuff, you know. They got talent myself i myself you know i got i got a huge major deal and i already did a lesson about that you know but all praises to the most like yahweh by shem yahweh shy that you know he gave me the spirit to overcome this and you know it didn't make me fall for this deal and you know sell my soul to the to the to the to the wicked for just a few penny you know so let me just go into it nigeria actually you have you know the last Grammys that just you know came up, you have two artists from Nigeria who actually won the Grammy, and there is something about this artist, one of these artists that I just wanted to show you, you know, I actually found out this thing, you know, I was speaking to a friend at the, is it was it last year, you know, so this this friend actually he likes this artist so much, listen to his songs, and he was playing a song, you know, because I don't I barely listen to these people. You know, so I was listening to, listening to the song and I and I and I heard the lyrics. You know, and the lyrics were like, "Whoa, this dude actually." No, let me just show you this video of his Grammy speech, the Grammy award, and you know there is a reason why they actually gave this Jake the Grammy. You know, but let's just watch the video and I'll speak about it later. Twice as tall, Burna Boy. Second time's a charm for Burna Boy. A year after he was first nominated, the Nigerian Afrobeat star won Best Global Music Album for his record, Twice as Tall. In Africa, we're in the house. This should be a lesson to every African out there. No matter where you are, no matter what you plan to do, you can achieve it. No matter where you're from, because you are a king. Look at me now. Grammy Award winning Burna Boy. His album was dubbed a masterclass in the vibe and hustle that have made Burna Boy an international musical force. It features artists such as Stormzy, 
Yusun Dur, Naughty by Nature, and Chris Martin of Coldplay. In 2020, Burna Boy lost out to Angelique Kijo in the same category. The Beninese diva went on to dedicate her award to him, hailing him a trailblazer for a new generation of African artists. Born in Nigeria's Port Harcourt, Burna Boy released his first album, Life, an acronym for Leaving an Impact for Eternity, in 2013. This was followed by Redemption in 2015 and Outside in 2018. But it was with 2019's African Giant that Burna Boy really broke onto the international scene and earned his first Grammys nomination. Back home from Lagos to Abuja, his fans were thrilled. I really love his music so much and um, he has really inspired me. I think that's a very great achievement for Bonaboy and the musical, Nigerian musical industry at large here. Yeah. Nigerian music is going to where it will be the new thing. If you don't listen to Nigerian music, you're missing something. And our guys have proved it. Shout out to Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy, making us proud all over the world. I'm so excited. It's an open door for every artist in Nigeria. Because of the pandemic, the 63rd Grammy Awards were held in Los Angeles without an audience. This is not it a turned Zoom out to be a big right? night for real. African artists. Nigerian singer Wizkid also won the Best Music Video category for his song with Beyonce, Brown Skin Girl, from Lion King, the gifted album. Great stuff. Well, that's it for Iron Anyway, as you can see, you know, you had two artists from Nigeria, you know, winning the Grammy Award. The second one actually had a song with Beyonce, you know, and it was huge, you know. But you see, there is something you all need to see behind this. You know, there is something, you know, if the Most High gives you a sight to see, then you see the, the agenda behind this. You know, seeing that Nigeria, they know that Nigeria, there is, there is, there is a huge, how should I put it, there is a huge energy flow of Jake from Nigeria. There are lots of Jakes with, you know, mad talents on the streets of Nigeria, either in sports, football, whatever, you know, in music and all these stuff like that, you know. It also, genially, like, for example, let me just give you an example. You know, to let you know that, I, you know, Jake's are actually, you know, the, the, the salt of the earth. You know, there is a Nigerian by the name, um, Philip. I can't remember. Okay, Emiagwali. Okay. As you can see, Philip Emiagwali, you can we, you can go to Wikipedia about him. But this dude, actually, as you can see, you know, he's the one. He's the one who actually invented the web, as you know today. He's a Nigerian, and he was actually born where I was. You know, that's my state of origin from Nigeria. You know, this dude actually is the one who invented invented the web as we know it. You know. So that's just to let you know that you know Jake is actually the 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 the, the, the salt of the earth, you know. Then you see this wicked seed, the seeds of Esau, they, they have their own blessings too, you know. They were blessed with a sword, and that's you can see when whenever they have to, you know, invent something, they invent things that are really destructive. They invent, you know, missiles, the ICBMs and stuff like that, you know. They invent stuff that are destructive, you know, guns and, you know, different kinds of weaponry, you know. But you see, Jake is actually the salt of the earth, you know. They invent stuff that, you know, that are really innovative. The most I, you know, walk using his right hand, you know, bringing good to the earth using Jake. And he does evil through the line of the wicked, which is Esau. I don't want to go into that. There are lots of videos already about that. But you see, the point really where I want to point to is, you know, the, you, you heard the speech that that dude, the Bonner boy or something, you heard the speech made, you know. So this is actually an appeal. Let's listen to the speech he made. Then we can go on with the, with the lesson. It should be a lesson to every African out there. No matter where you are, no matter what you plan to do, you can achieve it no matter where you're from, because you are a king. Look at me now. 
Grammy award winning Burner Boy. His album was so as you can see, as you can see, he's actually urging the youth. He's urging the rest. You know, there are a lot of you know, there are a lot of Jakes right there on the streets of Nigeria who are actually they're ready to sell their soul for whatever. They're ready to do whatever to get this money, man. Really, I am from that place and I know what it is, man. These boys are really ready to do anything to get money, you know. So he's urging these people and telling them, you know, to believe in themselves and which it's against, against the scriptures, you know. The scriptures let us know that the heart is most deceitful. Now let's get a few scriptures here. You know, this is just what, you know, the sons of the wicked, they do. They pick out the best in your society and they use them against you, you know. They actually give this brother, they actually give him, you know, the Grammys for a reason. They give him the Grammys for a reason just, you know, to incite and make this, you know, these Jakes lose focus. In which in this moment, we're meant to be focused on, on the coming kingdom, man. This kingdom is nothing, man, compared to what Yahweh Shai is coming with, you know. This kingdom is actually nothing, it's disgusting, you know, compared to the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So let's get the scripture, the book of Romans 12, 2. Just going to get some few scriptures and I'll close up on this, you know. The book of Romans 12, 2 say, And be not conformed to this world, but ye be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And what actually renews your mind is this truth, man. This is this truth, knowing the true, your true heritage, that you are actually a uh, Israelite, a uh, Hebrew Israelite. You are not an African, okay? You are not an Ethiopian. And mind you, Africa, as he said, you know, a message to all African men. You're not African, man. If you got the spirit, you know, to, to be creative, you are definitely not an African. You know, Africa was named after an Italian general, you know, as I mentioned before, named Leo Scipio Africanus, you know. So you're not that. Your real identity is, is Israel, Hebrew, you know, from the line of Jacob. Okay, going back to Abraham, going back to Seth, okay, that's what you are. You are not an African just like they label you, you know, and you being conformed to, the, to this world right now is, you know, you looking for careers, you know, looking for ways to win this Grammy and all these things in which we all know the, the, the we all know the, the, the history of, of this Grammy. It's nothing but a, a, an abomi abomination, you know, idolatry, you know idolatry that's worshiping an egyptian deity that now i can't even remember the name you know so that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect with the with, with yahweh what is good and acceptable with yahweh you know the book of um john fourteen fifteen tells us you know um what does it say let me quickly get it John fourteen fifteen. Okay, the book of John fourteen fifteen says, "If ye love me, keep my commandments." Then the book of First John, you know, there is a book in First John, you know, that tells us, you know, the definition of what love is. Let's see if I can remember what. No, sorry, it's the book of 2 John 1, 6, you know. It tells us the definition of love. The definition of love is keeping, you know, to the best of our ability, the, the commandments. We know we are not we are not saved by, by keeping the commandments, but, you know, we have to come into this truth. With this truth actually is, you know, observing these commandments, preparing yourself for the kingdom to come, you know. It's not time to be playing around and looking for some some Grammy awards and looking for for some for some you know some careers or something like that. This is time to actually seek for the truth. Pray for the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to save you in the times that are about to come. You know we know with the times that are about to come are really wicked times. You know even the time of Jacob's trouble. You know that's in the book of Jeremiah. Is it thirty-seven or so? If I'm mistaken, someone should correct me. 
you know so this is not the time you know to listen to this dude right here this dude right here is actually a sold out you know this is actually what he has worked for all his life you know to get this idol which which doesn't satisfy the soul yeah you might get a couple of of bentley or whatever ferrari or whatever but man those things are going to rot and they're going to get destroyed on the day the chariots of the most high yahweh but hashem yahweh shai they, they appear man those shits are going to melt man they're going to melt you know so this is actually the reason why the wicked you know they concentrated this year in giving the grammys to nigeria you know trying to you know lead away the youths and all these people take them away from the focus which the focus is you know looking for the truth you know now let's get another scripture a couple more scriptures then we'll close on this um going to read from the book of um first john first john 2 15 so the book of first john 2 15 says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him man this scripture right here is just easy and clear man and you see you notice this just like the apostle gaba always say those wacky tacky christians you know they always avoid these scriptures you know if you're in, in nigeria we have more churches in nigeria than than I, I don't know if possible in the whole of west africa man there are more churches in nigeria you know but these pastors are always preaching about you know prosperity you know how to enhance yourself how to be the best how to do this how to do that forgetting that the same scriptures tell us to pray for the kingdom of the most high to come this is hypocrisy man if you're not saying this it means you're not even part of the elect man the scripture right here is plain and clear love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him simple and plain man this shit is of the world this dumb statue that they give you right here in the grammy it's nothing but you know it's just of the world man this is not what you're here for you know this is not what you're here for man so i'll just get the book of um second corinthians after this i have one more scripture then i close up second corinthians 6 14 the book of second corinthians 6 14 says be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship at righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion at light with darkness you know this is clear this is clear you know these people are workers of darkness we all know their secrets are being exposed just like is it the apostle gabada said it you know in one of his video he was like you know um the average the average the average i'm just quoting i'm not really sure that's how he said it but this is i'm just trying to you know he said the average jake or the average person out there knows the secrets of the elite you know starting from the from the banking family you know the illuminati and stuff like that you know the average person knows about the secrets you know there is nothing hidden anymore and we know that they are the people actually behind all these grammy awards and all this you know all this all this fuckery man just part of my my swedish you know so we all know that these people are actually behind all this and this is not time to actually go after that you know we can't be equally yoked with these people we have to be equally yoked with the scriptures you know this is our food right here this is what we should actually you know this is our love right here this is what we we, we should actually you know hold tight onto the scriptures you know and expecting the kingdom to come you know where we'll be rulers you will no longer be slaves man you know there are many artists out there you know all their lives they've lived just to get an award you know you've been a slave for just a stupid statue you know 
in which if the Most High decides to take your life the next day, he could take your life, you know? So this is just really big hypocrisy, you know? So I'm just going to read one more scripture and close up the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. Jeremiah 4.22 says, For my people is foolish, they have not known me. And this is just the situation of what's going on in the so-called land of Africa. The Jakes right there are really foolish, you know. And, you know, lately you have, you know, the Cameroonians, you know, you having, you, you, man, you know, the Jakes in Africa are really stupid, man. They're really foolish. Because they are really highly creative and they have, you know, they are actually the salt of the earth, as I was saying. But then, they are all just looking for a position in this society. They are all looking for a career in this society. This society is going to get destroyed soon. Man, why don't you concentrate all your intelligence in looking for the truth? Because truly, if you seek, the Most High is going to give you. If you knock... The Most High is going to open the door for you. Like the book of, is it the book of Matthew that says that, you know, knock and it shall be opened, seek and you shall find, you know. But these people are not seeking the truth. They're seeking the Grammys, they're seeking recognition, they're seeking careers and stuff like that. They're seeking money. Money is everything for them. You know, the same scriptures tell you, you know, you can't, you can't, I'm just paraphrasing. You can't follow God and follow mammon, you know. You can't follow two masters, you know. You're either going to hate one, you know. So, they are sottish children. And this word sottish right, right here is foolish, you know. Let's quickly, let's quickly see what it says. They are sottish. You know, you see, foolish. Fools. You know, that's what that's what most of you Jakes are actually out there, you know. You're fools, you know, you're stupid, foolish, foolish children, you know. Because just like the book of Isaiah chapter one verse is it three says it, you know, the oxen, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, the oxen, you know, the donkeys they know their master and their master's creep, but Israel does not know any damn thing, man. Israel does not know any damn thing. They just right here, you know, running behind their, 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 their enemies, you know, those who enslave and kill them, you know, and they take these people and they put them in the podios and, and worship them like gods, man. You know, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. Yeah, they're quick because all your work is to do evil and man born a boy man if you don't if you don't give your life to the to yahweh why yahweh shy and you don't change before the time the time of destruction comes man you're going to be fried by those lasers from the chariots man you're going to be fried from those lasers from the chariots man this is a message to you man because man this is not the time for you to be doing all these fuckeries man you know, this is the time for you to look for the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And this is a real warning to you, man. You know, this is not what, this is because now with this award that you've taken, you've actually shifted the, the attention, the focus of others who maybe they might be looking for the truth. You've actually shifted it to this, to this evil. You know, this is evil. You're quick to do evil. And looking for, looking to get this award is looking to get, this is evil, man. This is evil because there are many other younger ones, you know, coming up who actually take you as, as, uh, as, out, out, what do they call it? What's the word? You know, they reference you and, you know, they take you as, um, what's the word? I can't get the word now, you know. They actually take you as an example, more or less, you know, for lack of words, you know. They take you as example and this is the example you actually put into them. And excuse me, excuse me, there is something, you know, I said earlier in this video. You see this dude right here, you know, I was listening to a song from a friend. And, you know, and this is the lyrics of this same, is it the same album that actually won the award. And just to let you know that this dude actually went to sell his souls to, for, for just, for this penny, you know. Um...
So I was listening to this song and, you know, you see, he has a song, Devil in California. And now let's look at the lyrics of the song, you know. So you can see if you have to understand what I'm trying to show you. Take your OT. You see, you say, oh, I met the devil out in California. You know, I don't want to read the rest, but you can just see. This dude right here is letting you see, you know, for in order for him to get this award right here, the Grammys, this is this is actually what he had to pay for it. He met the devil in California and this dude started flying to California and stuff, you know, his life just actually changed then. You know, you can see he went to sell his devil his soul to this devil, which is the so called white man, you know, to be an instrument against the youth of Yasharala, who are actually in the land of Ham, right there in the land of Ethiopia, called Nigeria, you know. So this dude, in order for him to get to this point where he is, this is the price he had to pay. He sold his soul to the devil. This is the lyrics of his song. You can, you can check it out, you know. So you see, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Man, these people ain't seeking the truth. They're not seeking the return of Yahweh Shai. And this is a warning to y'all out there, you know. All you youngins coming up, you know. Trying to get into this music industry, you know. Trying to get this money. Trying to get this Delma Awards, you know. Man, if you don't change your mindset... And if you don't, if you don't, if you don't seek the most like Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, while he still can be found, you know, man, you're in for a rude awakening, man, which is a, a really mad destruction. You know, our minds cannot even contain it. We are actually sincerely praying to the most like Yahweh, Yahweh shy, that we can be found, we can find some mercy before him, you know, talk less of you guys that are not even thinking of all this, man. The destruction is really going to be mad on your asses, man. So anyway, you know, I hope I made the points in this video and I hope this video is edifying. Um, having said this, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash. My double honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. It's the brother Yaraya Yasharala from the GMS Italia camp. Shalawam. Until the next one. Shalawam.